Are you a structural engineering professional or a student that's ever thought about going to the SEI Structures Congress, but you didn't really know if it was worth it? I mean, you have to take time off work, you have to take time off your classes, you have to pay for travel expenses, and if you're an introvert, why on earth would you go voluntarily to a place that has hundreds of people and you don't know anybody? Well, I'm going to tell you why you should go to the Structures Congress, despite all these concerns. Hi, I'm Matt, and I'm a structural engineer at DCI Engineers in the Southern California area, and I recently went to the 2019 SCI Structures Congress in Orlando, and I'm going to tell you my thoughts on it. The first reason, and I think the, one of the most valuable reasons to go, are the new ideas, the new strategies, the new tactics that you can pick up by going to an event like this, especially the Structures Congress, because they bring, in, they bring in hundreds of practicing professional structural engineers and experts that are in their field, all gathering in one place to basically discuss their expertise and share knowledge. I mean, you have different structural engineers from all over the US, they're facing the same problems as you. So I'm pretty sure that you're solving one problem one way and they're solving it another and you can discuss how effective those strategies are. And for me, ideas are very valuable. All it takes is that one idea, maybe just looking at one problem at a different angle from a different perspective. And I mean, you could completely change your process. That could eventually save you uh, countless hours of redo time if you're trying to make something more efficient. Uh, instead of using a spreadsheet, maybe you go into a using scripting or maybe even coding so things like that all it takes is one new idea and i think that's why ideas are so valuable and one of the best things that you can bring to your firm and make yourself more valuable as an example i would ask hey how do you guys deal with architects moving columns concrete columns all the time and you guys have to keep changing your structural models how do you guys deal with that I mean, one person solves it in another from one firm and another person solves it in another. They may be using a spreadsheet or a software. And it was interesting to see that some people have been going into Revit and even using Dynamo to solve these types of issues. And that's something that I can bring to my firm and present these ideas and how different firms are solving these problems. That's something that, you know, if you're just stuck in your cubicle all day, that's not something that you can really find out and test. I mean, all these companies have tested it and they, you know, their effectiveness differs from firm to firm. And if you're a student, I think the most valuable thing that you can take away from going to the SEI Congress is talking to the young professionals uh, like me and others, especially if, uh, you know, if they, they've been working in the industry, the field that you want to work in, it might be buildings, it might be bridges, but that way, I mean, connect with them via LinkedIn, go talk to them during the networking events. And you know, they've been through what you're going through. You can get first hand advice to getting into the structural engineering industry and ask them if it's what, what it's really like to work there, what their typical day is. So you get a first hand experience and what their firms are looking for and uh, kind of some of the best ways to get into the industry and, and what firms are good to work for. A second reason to go is that, I mean, it increases your value to your firm. I mean, especially if you're a younger engineer, I'm pretty sure your firm is always looking for, hey, who's in it for the long haul? Who's promotable? Who deserves a raise? And by you being interested in going to these events, uh, not just for your own professional development, but also going at it from a perspective that, hey, if by, by me going to these events, I can help our company out by bringing in these new ideas, asking these types of questions, solve these type of problems. If you go in it that way, I think, I mean, it shows that, you know, it's not just a job for you, it's a career. You're interested in this for the long haul and that you're keeping your, your company in mind when you're going to these events. You're not just skipping out on work. You want to bring value back to your company. And I think that can definitely help you out, you know, during uh, your annual reviews, during uh, when they're looking for promotions or raises. I think that's one thing that you can bring up to kind of increase your pro profile in your firm. And the third reason that I think you should go are the scholarships. SEI and the Structures Congress does this uh, really well. I believe they gave, they gave out around 20 to 25 scholarships for young professionals and the same amount to students and people that are in academia. And I 
I mean, that's all thanks to the SCI Futures Fund. So there's a lot of people, generous people and engineers that have donated to that, that allowed us and me to go. I was one of the scholarship recipients and it was uh, all thanks to them. And the fourth and final reason that I think you should attend the Structures Congress is the chance to network and build professional relationships with other industry professionals and experts in the field. So I know especially for introverts, I know I'm one, uh, put me in a big room with 100 people, I'm, my energy is going to get drained <laughs> pretty quickly and that's when I'll just go back to my hotel room and recharge. But for this one, I mean they made it really easy. When I went, I didn't know anybody, but if you're a scholarship recipient, you know, they get you together before the Congress. So even before the Congress starts, you know, at least are familiar with uh, somebody. So once you're off to the Congress, you, you'll keep running into these same people again, and it's really easy to connect with them. Uh, not just the young professionals, but also with the industry experts and the leaders in the structural engineering field. They had a breakfast with the leaders, and that was really helpful because you have breakfast with, with um, with a structural engineering industry professional in in your field or what they're an expert at and that was an easy way for us to connect with them also and you never know what can come out of building these relationships and networking i mean it can lead to new clients new leads it can lead to a new job or position and it, it can even lead to you having a contact uh, that's an expert in something so if you're having problems with uh, BRB braces, you can go contact a BRB expert to help you out. So you never know. I mean, for me personally, it led to me being a co-host for the Structural Engineering Podcast, something that I definitely wasn't expecting when I got over there. But, you know, I ended up meeting uh, Anthony Fasano and, you know, it made sense. He's already had successful civil engineering podcasts with over a million downloads and you know, we wanted to do something for the structural engineering industry and it made sense for me because I wanted to do something like that and it was my way of contributing back to the structural engineering industry. So if you want to find out more information on that and how that happened, I'll, I'll provide the link uh, either above or below and you can go ahead and check that out. We have the first few couple episodes already recorded and posted. So to recap, the Structures Congress 2019 was well worth it. It gave me a lot of new ideas that I could bring back to my company and they made it really easy to go with the scholarships and they also made it very easy to network and build relationships and connect with other people in the industry that definitely helped me out. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next year at Structures Congress 2020.